Hi, Washington School. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to your fresh edition of Morning Announcements. Did you guys know that today is World Smile Day? I didn't know. Thank you to Mrs. Mosca for letting me know about today's special day. And it's no better time to smile. Times are tough, so try to smile at someone today and brighten their day. I hope that you all are still attending your live classes on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I hope you are remembering that Tuesdays and Thursdays are your flex days. Don't forget though that this Wednesday, October 7th is a teacher in service day. So there's no live teaching on that day. Again, no live teaching on October 7th, this upcoming Wednesday. Also, don't forget you can find my Google Classroom at code ABJNBSO. Next week's topic is Respect Week. Respect Week is a week that we always celebrate the first full week of October and is a week that is awareness, education, and specific activities that are based around harassment, intimidation, and bullying in New Jersey public schools. So you can find all information on Respect Week in my Google Classroom that links to my counseling website. Also, we have a fun new incentive program called the Star Student Spinner Winner Program. That's also located on my counseling website if you wanna get more information about that. I also shared it with your teachers, so I'm not sure if they already discussed it with you, but I'm super duper excited about it. And our first spin is gonna happen next Friday during announcements. And again, your teachers decide who gets put into the raffle. So it's up to you to do great work in order to get entered into it. And the winners get to pick any prize that they want on the prize board. So I can't wait to see our first spin next week. I hope you're as excited as I am. Also, before we get into next week's Spirit Week, here is a highlight reel of all the people that submitted pictures and videos to me this week, showing them hard at work. And here we go. Hi -ho! everyone hard at work this week. I know I was, but now I see all the hard work that you all have been doing. So for next week's spirit challenge, we're going to do a challenge in respect for respect week. If you've been a student at Washington School, you know that one of the bestest days that we celebrate during respect week is me shirt day. So Washington School, as well as all the rest of the schools in Kearney, on October 9th, which is next Friday, we'll be wearing their me shirts. So I can't wait to see your me shirts in action. I can't wait to see what makes you you. Do you like sushi? Do you like pizza? Is your favorite color orange? Do you have a brother or a sister? Write it on your me shirt somewhere and make sure that you send a picture on October 9th and you wear it on that live day, Friday, October 9th. Can't wait to see it. Now I have a music announcement from our music maven, Mr. B and his sidekick Horatio. Take it away. Thanks, Miss A. As many of you may know, I am teaching music at Garfield School for semester one this year, and then for semester two, it'll be Washington School's turn to have music class, and I cannot wait to see you all. But until then, I bring you this important breaking news bulletin. Unfortunately, our winter concert will not be able to happen as usual at Washington School this year, as many of you may have surmised. However, the good news is that the music teachers and I are putting together a virtual winter concert. That means I need fifth and sixth graders at Washington School and Garfield School to join our virtual chorus. There will be no rehearsals, there will be no live meets, 
everything will be happening in Google Classroom. I know you all want to join another Google Classroom and there is one for Virtual Chorus. It is for fifth and sixth graders. It is not mandatory, it is optional. If you want to be in our Virtual Chorus, you're going to join the classroom code YDI3SAH. Again, this is for fifth and sixth graders who want to be in Virtual Chorus. The classroom code is YDI3SAH. I will give you all the details there. The song is there for you to listen to. The words are there for you to download and, and, and read. And I will give you instructions on how to record your performance so that it can be combined. And any questions can be answered there. Uh, so again, YDI3SAH. I will also give the invitation to your homeroom teachers to post in case you want to get it that way. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Back to you, Miss A. Now, on to some birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. On to some September birthdays. Don't forget that you can email me at sapi at carneyschools.com or you could direct message our school Instagram if you'd like a story feature for your birthday. And all the birthday pictures I've gotten over virtual learning is a highlight on our Instagram page. On September 25th, Dina Graciano Menjabar from second grade from Miss Peso's class and Mia Nolte from kindergarten from Miss Stanley's class celebrated a birthday. On September 26th, Liam Colantes Mejia from kindergarten from Miss Stanley's class and Adele Sid Perez from kindergarten from Miss Bellinger's class, Sheila Palacios from pre-K from Miss Garantes Smith's class, and Arabella Rosario Gill from first grade from Miss Lula's class celebrated birthdays. On September 27th, Guadalupe Gonzalez from fourth grade from Mr. Postal's class celebrated a birthday. On September 28th, Faith Navarro from third grade from Mr. Bowers' class and our cool kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Baltazar, celebrated birthdays. On September 29th, Abigail Blancas from pre-K from Ms. Garonsky Smith's class and Miguel Dante Silva from fifth grade from Ms. Franquino's class celebrated a birthday. On September 30th, Christopher Calderon from kindergarten from Ms. Baltazar's class and our marvelous sixth grade math teacher, Ms. Hell, celebrated a birthday. On October 1st, our cool custodian, Jimmy, as well as our super superb secretary, Ms. Gonzalez, celebrated birthdays. This upcoming weekend on October 3rd, Pamela Condo from sixth grade from Ms. Hill's homeroom, Kate Espinoza from fifth grade from Ms. Lavelle's homeroom, and Timmy Salazar from kindergarten from Ms. Baltazar's class all celebrate birthdays. And finally, on Sunday, Evan Ravello de Silva from third grade from Ms. O'Grady's class is celebrating a birthday. And I hope you all had and will have beautiful birthday celebrations for your birthday. Eat a piece of cake for me, or two, or three, or the whole thing whatever you decide, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Now onto some grade level news and grade level shout outs. From pre-K, Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Lucia are so incredibly proud of the hard work all the preschool students are doing. They also wanted to give a virtual high five to all the parents because they work so hard navigating the first weeks of virtual online learning and they're doing an amazing job. Mrs. Smith also wanted to wish all of the students and families at Washington School a very fun and wonderful year of learning. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. That's a beautiful message. From kindergarten, Mrs. Balthazar wanted to shout out Nathan Rojas, Savannah Stanzel, and Saad Debaji for leveling up to level A in learning A to Z. Great job to you three. So incredibly proud of you. Now on to some second grade news. Miss Weiss wanted to shout out her class. They had an amazing first month of second grade. They always show up on time, ready to learn. Way to go! Awesome, love to hear that. On to some third grade news. Mrs. Marigliani wanted to shout out her students. She said they always show up to their virtual lessons. They are on time and they're always working very hard. She is so impressed with these brand new third graders. Get it, class. I love to hear that kind of news. On to some fourth grade news. Miss Sansone wanted to shout out Luca, Ferris, and Juliana for participating in reading class at the end of the day when everyone was so tired. So Miss Sansone wasn't talking to herself. Keep up the super hard work. Trust me, kids. Teachers never want to feel like they're talking to themselves. So it's always awesome when you participate. Just a rule of thumb. And finally, 
Mrs. Payson wanted to shout out all of, our, all of our student Insta stars. She wanted to thank those students who participate in our weekly challenges on Instagram. And I want to thank you too. She says it's sad that she can't see her faces in the hallway, but the Instagram pictures make her so very happy. Same Z's, and I am always super happy to get photo and video submissions from all of you. It really helps to keep me connected to you as well as the students and the staff. So keep it up. We love the submissions. I don't know why there's so many playing. On to some staff shout outs. Mrs. Mosca wanted to shout out Mrs. Marinero. She says Mrs. Marinero has helped her out with different strategies. Mrs. Marinero is a great listener to bounce ideas off of, and she is patient and kind. She is really so grateful for her as a coworker and as a friend. Mrs. Marinero is all of those things and more, so I agree with everything you said, Mrs. Mosca. Thank you for your submission. Mrs. Pesa wanted to shout out Mrs. O'Grady. She says, thank you for keeping her grounded last week with her words of wisdom and all of the chocolate. Trust me, guys. Chocolate and wisdom are incredibly important. So always do that for a friend. Got it? Got it. Mrs. Hogan wanted to shout out her first grade partners. She wanted to thank them for all of the help and the support during this virtual experience. And to Mrs. Hornung for her tech savviness. Thank you to all and thank you to Mrs. Hornung. Ms. Sansone wanted to shout out Mrs. Ricca. She says thank you for talking to her all day, every day, and making this crazy virtual adventure easier and fun. Mrs. Barbosa wanted to shout out Miss Varela. She wants to say thank you, but doesn't know where to begin. So here we go. <laughs> she says she really appreciates all that Miss Varela has done, such as calling parents, mailing letters, testing and translating at meetings, and even creating how-to videos for the parents and students in our district. She just wants to say that there are so many things she couldn't have done without Miss Varela. Thank you for always being Ashley there. Moreno from fifth grade wants to give a shout out to Miss Laval and to Miss Franquino. She says that they are very fun and unique, unique <laughs> in their own ways. And I just love those positive vibes, girl. Thank you, Ashley. And don't forget students, you could always submit a staff shout out. And I have another one from a student. And this one's from Mia Marino from fifth grade. And she wants to shout out Miss Lavelle, Mrs. Frankino, Mrs. McColl, Mrs. O'Grady, Mrs. Przbilski, and Mrs. Saluga. She says she loves and loved all of their classes and she could have never wished for better teachers to teach her. She misses all of you a lot. And finally, we have a really special shout out from Mrs. Bellinger's kindergarten class. Mrs. Bellinger just celebrated her 15th wedding anniversary, which also happens to be the Crystal wedding anniversary. And here's a message from her class. And it says, may you celebrate every day together the way you celebrated today. Oh, here's to year 15 and many more. Congratulations to you and Mr. Bellinger. Now on to the last part, my friends, our Friday funnies. And here we go. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the week. Our first one comes from our third grade teacher, Mr. Bauer, and his Friday funny is, why did the chicken cross the road? Because the chicken behind him wasn't socially distancing. <laughs> Make sure that you don't do that to the chicken that you see or a person that you see. Our next one comes from our pre-K teacher, Mrs. Karonsky smith and her Friday funny is, why did summer catch autumn? Because autumn had a fall. <laughs> our next one comes from Mia Moreno and Miss Lavelle's class, and her Friday funny is, a turtle is crossing the road when he's mugged by two snails. When the police show up, they ask him, what happened? The shaken turtle replies, I don't know, it happened so fast. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that one, Mia. And our last one comes from Ashley Moreno in Miss Rankino's class, and her Friday funny is, what month does trees die? September. <laughs> I hope I did that one good. <laughs> and those are all the announcements for this week. Don't forget that there's no live classes this upcoming Wednesday, October 7th.
And as always, don't forget that I love you, your teachers love you, and Washington School loves you. So happy to be back, right?